e coding is extremely. three times to do this job and nobody's known how to operate it. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do. Probably not gonna talk too much because this is a very odd job. The things you do for money, insane. They don't want much water used, so I got this. Just scrubbing these and not doing a crazy bronze wool or brazing of anything here. Finally, sometimes I gotta go up and down just to get this thing to go. E-coating glass. What is e-coating? E-coating is glass that is super hard to move your squeegee on. Mm -hmm. 
you'll see I'm gonna use straight pulls here because it's e-coating so it it just grabs oh I guess I can fan it but it just it looks streaky but it's not streaky. Sometimes on projects like this, it takes a little bit to just to get rocking and rolling. Uh, this is the same thing. You can feel it. It's that like e coating. Crap. Go down a sec. Sometimes lifts do this. You have that same issue. The e coating is extremely sticky. Battery's almost dead, so I'm gonna stop recording, get the rest of this cleaned up, and then show you guys what it looks like at the end. Alrighty, I'm getting towards the end here. Just have one, two, three, four, five, six, six windows left. Got all that done. It's taking a long time. You want me to clean these frames really good. So I can't go any lower to get those ones with the elevator. So I'm gonna have to get the ladder go up and finish those from putting this up here on the third level and then uh, getting those ones down there. Just not sure I'm gonna vacuum them. Job is done. 
working on top of an elevator is actually pretty safe. I thought it was gonna be a lot more stressful, but hope you guys enjoyed this video of me cleaning an elevator shaft. Might have been slightly boring, but um, hell, if you ever have to do it and you're wondering what it's like, now you got a video to check it out. Peace.